Okay guys, so if you remember about three years ago, I made a video on this particular truck about the blower fan speed only working on high. And what I came up with was the burnt connector for the uh, blower motor, resistor. And here we are three years later. Things pretty bad. Anyhow, long story short, I think what it boiled down to is this little cheesy connector that I got on Amazon. Come with some fairly thin wires. So I decided, you know what? Let's just go ahead and replace it with the good stuff. So here we go. Full wire harness from GM. And you can already tell these wires are plenty thick to carry the load connector looks solid and it's all plug and play so no more cutting on this one it's all pretty self-explanatory here you got your blower motor blower resistor pack and there's a few more up under the dash here uh, but really just plug and play. Lower your glove box. There's your main connector right there. And then it routes back down behind the glove box. Should be an in and out job. Looks like we had one that swung around on top of the blower motor housing. Shouldn't be too bad to unplug that and route it around. Thank God for this little access panel on the side of the dash. Because it looks right there is our last connector. And if this little access panel wasn't here, that was going to be a good time. Okay, a little out with the old, in with the new shot. Well, nothing left to do but to test it. So before this thing would only operate on high uh, and now obviously we've got all four speeds but we don't know if it was due to the cheap Amazon wiring but for $29 if it lasts another three years we'll call that a win. Repair from start to finish is about 25 minutes doing things the right way, routing the wires the way they should be, keeping things out of the way but other than that, it's fairly simple, straightforward plug and play. Thanks for watching.